everybody, it's me, Krista. Welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we are going to be unboxing the Sketchbox Premium Box for March 2020. But before we get in there, let's take a moment to look at the outside of this box and the lovely artwork that is there. It is by Jennifer Bellaconas, and if you want to see more of her work, check her out at Instagram at Jen Creation Insta. It's a very well rendered hand. I'm sure this was done using the items that came in the December box, which was the watercolor and that black paper. Now let's get on into what is inside. As always, we have our brief menu with descriptions of what items we have in here. We have a different kind of Sketchbox sticker. This one is just a large one that says Sketchbox on it. Here is this month's prints by an artist using the items that come in this month's box. This illustration is by Nikolai Shaver, and I will insert all of his links if you want to follow him. The very first set of items are a chameleon double-ended colored pencil set. And the retail price for this is normally $15, and I'm assuming it is custom colors, because it says custom. This month is all about colored pencils. This month we included a set of five double-ended colored pencils from Chameleon. They're specifically designed so you can flip over the pencil to blend with the next one. This makes blending color pencils a bit easier to approach and certainly less work than constantly grabbing for that next shade of color. And I'm just testing out all of these color pencils on a 4x4 piece of paper. It's technically Copic sketch paper. It's nice and smooth. It's good for just trying them out. These applied pretty smoothly. Some of them seemed fairly pigmented, some more pigmented than others. It looks like they blend okay, at least from the swatches I have so far. Just like everything, it's going to be hard to really tell how well it works until I do a full-on project. I am surprised that we got another Chameleon set this so soon because we got Chameleon markers in last month's box. They are obviously joining up their forces, Sketchbox and Chameleon, so I'm sure we're going to see plenty more of this to come. Whether that's a good or bad thing, I will let you guys be the judges of that. Let me know in that comment section down below. Colored pencils are obviously the theme of this box, so we've got a couple more to go. These are going to be two Krita Color Mega Color colored pencils. The retail price for these is normally $3.49 each. We included an ochre light and English red and our favorite fat leaded colored pencils. These are great for shading since the 6.4 millimeter lead can handle both large areas and details. I liked how these laid down a little bit better than the chameleon ones. They seem to be super soft, super pigmented. The lead in the chameleon ones seemed a little bit harder, so in my opinion, they didn't lay down quite as nicely or blend as softly as these ones, the Krita colors. Guess what we have more of? More colored pencils. These are three Tombow Erogiton colored pencils. The retail price for this is normally $2.39 each, and this is a new product. We love these high quality colored pencils for their color range and ability to blend. We worked with Tombow to bring in three colors previously not available in the USA. Yolk Yellow, Russet Brown, and Silver Gray. These seem to lay down fairly well and blend A-OK. -okay. These are all brands of colored pencil that I'm not that familiar with. I typically use Prismacolor, a couple of Faber-Castell Polychromos, and some Rondage Luminance pencils every once in a while. So it's kind of exciting to try these different ones and figure out how to use them because they will be needed to be used differently. And color-wise, it seems like they gave us some good colors for some more nature-type scenes because we got some blues, a bunch of oranges, tans, and yellows. The next item we have is a pencil sharpener, which is fair. You kind of need that with all these colored pencils. It is a Krita Color Mega Duo Pencil Sharpener. The retail price for this is normally $6. With large leads, you'll need a large sharpener to keep them at a point fine enough for details. We included the Krita Color Mega Duo Sharpener because it'll fit all the pencils in your box this month. And it indeed did fit all of the pencils from this month's box in it. It seemed to sharpen okay just from a cursory glance and an initial use of using it. I'll find out a little bit more the more I use it, how well it continues to sharpen. This is another colored pencil adjacent item. It is a Cron d'Osh Full Blender 2-pack, and the retail price of this is normally $6.15. 
a colorless oil wax medium for blending, dry mixing, and intensifying colors. The single tool combines the properties of a blender, mixing and unifying, and a burnisher, consolidating and adding a glossy finish. I quickly used this over the different types of colored pencils that we got in this month's box. Personally, colored pencil blenders like this aren't my favorite. I prefer to just blend the different colors by using either the colored pencils themselves or by using some odorless mineral spirits on them to blend. In my opinion, I don't really think it blended the stuff that well. It definitely didn't intensify the color. I don't know where that's coming from. And with blenders like this, you do need to be careful. You want to make sure you use it on your very last layer of colored pencils. Because if you go over it with a different color, it will leave a space where the color going over it just will not stick as well. And that is because of that oil waxiness that it has. But it is a good tool to use if you don't want pigment to lay down on the paper that well. That being said, out of the different brands of colored pencils that came in this month's box, the brands that this seemed to work the best with was the Chameleon ones. And I didn't mention this earlier, but there is a white that came with the Chameleon set. It's not going to be a pigmented enough white to fully bring your paper back to white if you put it over a colored pencil. It is good for lightening up shades. So that will be the best use for that white that comes in this set. But back to this blender. I'm just not a fan of these kind of things in general. If you like using them for your colored pencil work, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also let me know different techniques that you use them with and why you use them. What is it that you like about these blenders? I look forward to hearing some different perspectives, for sure. Next we have a Tombow Mono Sand and Rubber Eraser, and the retail price for this is usually $2.39 each, and this is a brand new item. This rare eraser is a wonderful addition to your artistic arsenal. It combines their sand eraser grits to remove colored pencil and ink with their rubber eraser. Use the sand side to erase deep colored pencil marks, then flip it over and finish with the rubber side for a clean removal. As you can see, it pulled up a line pretty well. It did also kind of smear the colored pencil a little bit, but that wasn't with going over it multiple times, so we will see. The final item is a drawing surface. This is some Strathmore 4x4 Bristol Vellum 300 series. The retail price for this is normally $5.49. We love this paper for colored pencils, and it's perfectly formatted for Instagram. It's smooth and allows for great blending capabilities with the different brands of colored pencils in this month's box. Bristol board is usually very good for colored pencils, so I'm sure it'll work fairly well on here. But those are all the items that came in the March 2020 premium sketch box. Stay tuned for the next video where I will be playing around with these different colored pencils on this paper. If you liked this video, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, concerns, or if you've used any of the items in this month's box, please let me know in that comment section down below. I look forward to hearing you. If you want to see more videos like this, I do monthly sketchbox unboxing videos with projects. Please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you'll definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody!